Hello everybody, this is Michael Does Life. Today we're going to be talking about Windows 8 and should you upgrade from Windows 8 if you're on Windows 7 or uh, Windows Vista or even XP. Uh, the answer to that question is no. I, I don't think you have to, I don't think you really need to. Uh, Windows 8 is nice, it's neat, it's fun, but there's no need to upgrade unless you want the newest and the latest thing that's coming out. Windows 8 comes out in October and I played around with the consumer preview a few months back and honestly I thought it was pretty decent for what they were trying to do. I didn't have many problems with it but a lot of the things that I didn't like about it was it was designed with touch based devices in mind. So that means if you have a tablet or a touch based computer then Windows 8 would cater to those a lot better than it would on a desktop PC. Obviously everything is working and functional on the desktop PC but it's kinda weird to like slide to unlock when you're supposed to like touch and you have to do it on the mouse. It, it's kinda weird. It's functional obviously on the desktop PC but it's kinda weird because Windows is going that direction for tablet based devices and it's gonna be weird to, to see what happens. But like I said I thought Windows 8 was pretty neat and I think that a lot of people are over exaggerating the the Metro stuff because in the core of Windows 8 there's still Windows 7 and it's a lot better than Windows 7 you can go to the old desktop and they've revamped a lot of things in the old desktop if you don't want to go to the Metro stuff you kinda of don't have to uh, you can play around with the desktop all you'd like obviously when you boot up the system I believe there's I don't know if there's an option or not but it takes you to the Metro right from the get-go but from there on you can go to the classic desktop and in that desktop it's all of Windows. It's still Windows. I don't know where people are getting this idea that oh they change Windows. You gotta use all this Metro stuff. I'm not buying Windows. No, that's not the case. You can still go on your classic desktop, do all of the things you did on Windows 8, I mean Windows 7, and probably do them a lot better. So the, the core of Windows is still intact in Windows 8. It's just that on the other side, they're adding another option if you want to go play in their new little metro area. And honestly, like I said earlier, the metro stuff isn't that bad. It's just kind of weird playing with it on a desktop because, you know, you're supposed to touch and slide and do all of that stuff. It's clearly designed with a tablet or touchscreen based device in mind. It's going to be cool to see all the apps that are going to come out in the Windows Store, all of that type of stuff. Once Windows 8 gets rolling around, when it releases in October. And I'm going to actually probably upgrade. I don't think you should, like I said. You don't need to upgrade, but if you're wanting to get the latest and see what Windows 8 is all about, then you might want to check it out. But if you're not into the Metro stuff, obviously, then you probably won't like Windows 8. But still, like I said, Windows is still intact with Windows 8. I don't know why everyone's hating it as much as they are, but I'd like to know. If you don't like Windows 8, please feel free in the comments because I am very curious as to why people do not like this. Uh, obviously, the Metro stuff is a big push away for some people, but the core of Windows is still in Windows 8. It's all intact. So I'd like to know what your reasonings are behind the dislike towards Windows 8. That's all I got to say for you today about Windows 8 and Windows 7 and all that. Feel free, like I said, to leave your comments below as I'm curious to hear what you have to say about Windows 8 and why uh, a lot of people seem to dislike it. See you later.